Hello everyone. Today I am starting RNA-seq data analysis using the GeneXplain platform. My interest is to analyze transcriptomics data in breast cancer triple negative cells. For this task, I have selected an RNA-seq FASTA-Q files from Gene Expression Omnibus GSE 188914. The reference to the original publication is mentioned in the description. This is a publicly available dataset and my focus is to compare gene expression between MDA231 cell line which is a triple negative breast cancer cell line with MCF7 which is an estrogen receptor positive cell line. For my analysis I will be using the samples 9, 10 and 11 and also 21, 22, 23. At the end of the analysis, I aim to identify master regulatory molecules which regulate gene expression in triple negative cells. To start my analysis, I log in into the GeneXplain platform. I am going to upload the FASTAQ files for all six samples in my project. FASTAQ files are big files and they need quite a considerable amount of spray project space to process it. Here I have 50 GB of project space to work with these FASTAQ files. To upload a FASTAQ file, I first click on the sample information given in GEO. Here I see the SRA number and I click on this SRA number which leads us to the SRA page for that particular sample. The complete information about the sample is visible here and I can also see the layout in this case, it is single layouts, that means the experiment is performed with single reads. I copy the SRA run ID and paste it in the EBI browser. The EBI browser opens the page, again the detailed information about the sample and also the link to the FASTAQ file is available here. I right click on this link and copy the link. Now I go back to the Gene Explain platform and press the import button. In the new import dialog box which is opened, I click on the tab web FTP and paste my FTP link and press OK. The upload starts. Since FASTAQ files are big files, it takes couple of minutes for the upload to complete. Once the upload is finished, the importer detects the type of data or it can also be selected from the drop down menu. In this case, we select the importer of files as fastq.gz and press start. The fastq file is now getting imported into my project. It again takes couple of minutes to finish this entire process. My fastq file is now imported into my project. I will similarly import all other 5 samples into my project. Now my FASTAQ files are ready to be analyzed. I open the home page of the platform and go to the RNA-seq button. Under RNA-seq pre-processing, there are methods to map FASTAQ files to the genome. Also there are methods to count the reads. Under detect differentially expressed genes, there are lot of statistical methods to calculate the log fold change and p-value. Also the GeneXplain platform provides several pre-existing workflows which take FASTAQ files and output a list of differentially expressed genes. Here I am using one such workflow to analyze the FASTAQ files, the one with subread and lemma. As shown here, this workflow consists of two major blocks experiment or condition 1 and control or condition 2. Each block consists of subread align method to map the RNA-seq reads on the reference genome and feature counts to count the number of reads. Each block run in circles so many times as the number of input FASTAQ files. Finally, the ready calculated counts for condition 1 and condition 2 are subjected to the lima Wom method to calculate the log fold change and p-value. Now I input the MDA231 and MCF7 files into my workflow. Here I have to be careful and input FASTAQ files belonging to one condition in one category. 
Being careful at this step is crucial for my results. Ensemble GRCH38 is used as the reference ensemble. The path and name of the output folder can be defined in the section results folder. Here I name my output folder as full RNA sec with subread feature counts and lima. Once the input form is complete, I press run workflow. The workflow starts executing. Depending upon the size of the FASTAQ files, the workflow takes couple of minutes to complete. The workflow is now complete. As we can see here, the output folder is generated and there are a lot of output files within the output folder. They include the alignment files, the count summary, count log, and the list of differentially expressed genes. Now I'll take a break. To make a short summary of this part, I defined a dataset for analysis, uploaded FASTAQ files, and started a pre existing workflow to calculate log fold change and p value. In the next part, I will discuss about the output files in detail.